Keep your hands up. Stop. Hands up. Stop. Lock out those elbows. Hands behind your back. Do not move. They are the most heartless of criminals. Put your hands behind your back, knuckles together, thumbs up. Without remorse. The most dangerous felons law officers may confront. Psychopaths. In this FBI training session, new agent trainees practice a felony car stop. Bad guy role players and trainees armed with paintball bullets and protective gear square off. Take one step back. Under the eye of an instructor, Trainees learn how to safely arrest violent criminals. Deadly force is a last resort. Here at the FBI Academy in Quantico, Virginia, the Behavioral Analysis Unit, agents known as profilers, study the minds of violent offenders, especially psychopaths. For a psychopath, they don't have that sense of um, hurting others, uh, being um, concerned about what others, th others think. They just don't have it. Agent Mary Ellen O'Toole is the FBI's top expert on psychopaths. They're very violent because this personality disorder um, allows that offender to continue on with their criminal behavior, whether it's child abduction or serial murder, and they have no conscience for what they do. O'Toole says new studies show that prison rehabilitation programs actually make psychopaths worse. For example, capital murderer David Graham. The Air Force cadet killed a former high school classmate to prove his love to fiance Diane Zamora, who was a naval midshipman. After taking prison psychology courses, Graham now believes he's a poster boy for rehabilitation. I think if I got out today, I would probably be the ultimate example for, for respect of life. I would probably be the best way people could learn why to cherish life and why not to take a life. Psychopathy as a personality disorder does not lend itself to treatment, to rehabilitation. So if you think you can help someone become a non-psychopath, that's very naive. Most parole boards don't use a proven scientific method to determine if an inmate is a psychopath before releasing them back into society. If you have a violent offender who is a psychopath, is it likely they will repeat their offense? More than likely, it's only a matter of time, in a matter of, uh, of a very short period of time before um, he or she will reoffend and reoffend in, um, in a violent way.